Hey guys, this is Ryan with Maverick Metalworks. I wanted to introduce you to Project Littlefoot, my beautiful wife's 1999 Jeep Wrangler TJ. Um, it's getting all sorts of goodies uh, over the next couple months. Uh, the axles that we're using are out of a uh, 2012 JK Rubicon, so they're Dana 44 axles. Uh, the rear axle is chromales and the factory locker. The front is going to get an ox locker and 35 spline RCVs. Um, the Jeep will be sitting on coilovers. Um, obviously, we've got trusses on it. This is a 241 transfer case out of a TJ Rubicon. Uh, so all sorts of fun stuff that we're putting underneath it. Uh, currently, we have the Jeep, as you can see, sitting on jack stands. We have pulled out all of the axles and suspension components. Uh, we've cut off all of the control arm brackets. We still need to clean everything up. But the next step that we are about to work on, that we're going to focus on in this video, uh, we are going to cut off the rear of the frame and uh, try and give ourselves some more clearance. We want to be able to clear the coilovers here, which would end up hitting the frame. And then we also want to get rid of this downward slope that the frame has currently. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to cut along this line. We've measured on both sides and figured out where we want to cut. And I'm going to build some sort of sleeve that's going to slide over the factory frame right after the curve. Um, and then we'll figure out how we're going to pitch it inwards so that way it'll clear the coilovers. We'll figure out the height that we want to go to. Uh, come up with some sort of cross member for the body mounts and then in the rear tie it into some sort of bumper Cheers, no turning back Hit it with the hammer now. Yep, it's broken free. Yep. Yeah, that was good. Alright, so we officially have the frame cut in half on both sides. Uh, currently we have everything sitting on the four body mounts. So there's two that are underneath the tub here, and then there's two on the corners. Uh, we went ahead and left those mounted, uh, so that way once everything was cut, it would hold it in place and it wasn't going to fall on us. Now our next step is going to be to hold up the frame, uh, take out the four body mounts, and then let it drop.
There you have it guys we cut off about half of the jeep um, we made short work of it using a plasma cutter uh, you can do this with a saza angle grinder or an acetylene torch but uh we chose to do it the quick way um yeah it was really fun so our next step is going to be to take a ton of measurements and try to figure out where the frame is i'm going to use a program called sketchup to make a 3d model and then I'm going to kind of design everything to cut out on a CNC table and build the new back half of our Jeep. Uh, and then obviously the step after that will be to install our new frame. So, yep, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoyed. Well, there you have it, guys. We cut off the back of the uh, Jeep here. <laughs> you see it? I just want to do it one time. What do you mean? Do it.